If you're watching this video, chances are you're probably struggling somewhat with employee visibility at your organization. On top of this, you're probably looking for a solution that works directly with Google Calendar as that's what's used internally to manage not only paid time off and vacation, but of course setting meetings and appointments. Well, the good news is, is that if you stick with me for a few short minutes, I'll show you how you can get up and running with something like this directly in your own Google Calendar. So let's see how we can get this done. Right before me here is a blank Google Calendar. You'll notice if I skip ahead a few months, there are no entries. And today I would like to add any sort of PTO for my employees directly in this calendar. Why you may ask? Well, it's simple. It'll be a lot easier to take decisions if I know the availability of my employees, whether that's for scheduling or workloads. Now, obviously I can go to the left here and click on create and have a new event created for any type of PTO that may come up, whether it's a vacation, a sick day, holiday, or even working remotely. But as you can already tell, that's gonna be way too manual and way too time consuming. As an alternative, I suggest looking at Vacation Tracker. Vacation Tracker is the best in class leave management tool that is so easy to use, you'll be wondering why you haven't started ages ago. On top of the fact that it can sync directly to your Google Calendar to provide you with real-time updates, it also takes care of a lot of the headaches that come with leave management. So think of things like dealing with vacation requests, keeping an accurate balance of employees' time off, etc. To get started is super easy to do and it is free, so you might as well give it a shot and see if you like it yourself. If you do want to sign up for free, as you can see here in the top right corner, there is a button that you can click on that will take you through the sign up process and you'll be done in minutes. In my case, I already have a vacation tracker account, so I'm actually going to click on the login button here and log in with Google so I can show you what the dashboard looks like and show you how you can get those events directly in your Google Calendar. So once this page loads, we'll be brought to the dashboard here. When you first create your account, you'll be immediately greeted by a tutorial that will guide you through the necessary steps to ensure your account is set up properly. I highly recommend following along as it not only will save you time and energy, but also help to familiarize you with the different sections of the platform. If ever you want to revisit the tutorial because you closed it or because you want a refresher, you can always click on the question mark button here near the top and then on the take a quick tour button. Once you've gone through the tour to add the different leave types, locations and departments, and you've added users to the platform, the next step will be to go to the calendar section here in the left hand menu. From here, we will make the sync between vacation tracker to your Google calendar to ensure you get those real time updates. From here, it's just a simple matter of clicking a few buttons, allowing some permissions for Google and configuring some really basic settings in order to get that employee data appearing in your Google calendar. So let's see how we can get that done. The first button we need to click is right here, the sync with your calendar button. Next, we're going to create a new calendar connection by going to the connect calendar button. And you'll see as I hover over it, there are multiple options available. In addition to connecting with your Google calendar, you also have the option to connect directly to Outlook or any calendar for that matter via an iCal link. But for today, since we're focusing on Google calendar, I'm going to choose that. Next, we need to connect our Google Calendar to Vacation Tracker and allow Vacation Tracker some permissions within your Google Calendar. So we're gonna click on continue and we're gonna click on allow. The last step, as I mentioned, is now to choose some basic settings. In this case, whether or not we wanna filter some of the information coming from Vacation Tracker. You can choose to filter by location, departments, or custom labels if you have that set up. But if you leave it blank, it'll push all the information from the system to your calendar. Then the last step before we click create calendar sync is choosing which calendar to apply it to. I'm going to use the default calendar, but if you had a shared calendar with multiple emails attached to it, that might be a better choice for you. Now we're going to click on create calendar sync and you'll see that it has now been created. So when I go back to my Google calendar and I click on refresh and now look ahead to the coming months, you'll notice that sweet, sweet PTO data appearing in your Google calendar. Now that the information appears in your Google Calendar, you can make any changes you see fit, including making changes to what the event is called, the color, or if you had synced it to a shared calendar, you can always toggle it on or off if it becomes too cluttered. And now you're well on your way to having better employee visibility on your Google Calendar. 
Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to stay up to date on all things lead management slash PTO management. If you're curious about what else Vacation Tracker can do, I've put together a handy playlist that covers all the most essential features and you can check it out by clicking here. Outside of that, if you have any feedbacks or critiques you want to leave, be sure to leave a comment down below and we will respond to it as soon as possible. Or let me know if you want me to cover a specific topic. Always happy to take suggestions. Catch you in the next one.